Thank you, my lady. Looks like you have a quest on the board, but you don't. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems at home. I forgot there's no real general store here. Hello. Yes? Did I say that your husband is dead? No, I can't believe this. I won't. Well, unfortunately, it is the truth. Okay. I believe that's it for shops that I have. I could go to Ozumar and give access to more shops. Like, I'm just kind of like looking to get some supplies right now because I'm a bit, uh, a bit low on stock. Oh, I did level up too. Uh, strength, I guess, because I mean, I can't wear armor until I have some more of that. Bravery, warriors, and warrior courage, good spot stone. So there's as well as those crucial chance. So more enemies, the better bonus I have to defense, attack, and crit. Which seems, since I'm running in front lines, that'd be very appreciated. I should should have got Warcry though. If I get another skill book, I'll I'll use it on me. I don't have any. Oh, I should also start giving out these gifts to my companions. Here. I. That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. I am grateful. It is thoughtful indeed. Because your companions get um, what's it called? Bonus to their stats when you act when they like you so it's good to actually give them that so that it can actually uh, benefit you party camp I could also go to Haven and get some supplies there before I don't understand you look like a woman I am a woman you are a Grey Warden so it follows that you can't be a woman. Ah, uh, Grey Wardens can't be war women? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Um, what if they don't want to be any of those things? What does that have to do with anything? No one gets to choose who they are. Um, they, you didn't, didn't you choose to be a soldier? Of course not. It is who I am. That's not up to me. Person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Um, but a person can choose what to do. Can they? We'll see. Ugh. Sten doesn't get it. Also, I just realized Sten has armor. Of steel, and I could just take his because I'm not using him at the moment as a companion. Sexy man. Ooh. I needed more because I'm the main character. I'd have my my uh, what's it called? My scraps. I also should wear the helm of the deep so I could match all steel items. Except for my armor, obviously. Tier 3, yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Bodan. Could also get me some Something stuff. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Ba ding ding ding. He certainly does have poultices and lyrium potions. Also, has distillate agents. I could probably. Oh, there's inventory recycle. I should I feel like it's inventory recycled. Cause uh, <laughs> yeah, he didn't have that before. I'm very tempted to sell the Reaper's uh, cudgel. 
or clutch, whatever. It's only oh, it's a dragon bone. It does less damage than a green weapon. Crit chance is lower. It's because it's a two hand. No, it's a one handed weapon. Plus four strength was one. Arm. Knock target back. Why is it worse than a weapon I could get later? Probably because it's a starter weapon, but it takes 32 strength. And it's subjectively worse than what I have right now. I'm going to sell it because I need gold. <laughs> and I will buy these books in exchange. Um, I guess I'll buy all his recovery items. Uh, how much flasks I have? I'm good on that. I need distillant agents to make some better potions. So I'll buy some of those. Just because I have so much money now, I'll just try to remove the fact that I have so much money now. I could buy the full Dragonate, uh, the Dragon Blood set. Large dancing shoes. That could go good with Liliana's uh, set. I'll grab those. Scriptures foil. I believe that's a light. Yeah, no, it's a light of leather. Hmm. Uh, Earth Shards Portable Book World Collective. Da -da -da. Okay. I'll give the Bard's Dancing Shoes, which apparently is a unique item to Leliana to match her uh, battle dress of the per uh, whatever it's called. She also doesn't have a belt. I guess I gave that to Sten, right? Take that off. Take that off. Who has all these items? Oh. Lucky Stone. Let's give Embrys. One of these I should give. Yeah, I'll take the resistance belt. And you could take the guildmaster belt. Cause then it'll make you better at being a rogue. Sure you could have the fire ring or whatever. Mark of vigilance, defense, mental vigilance. What do you have? High regard of house dace, cunning, melee, stamina regen, stamina, chance to avoid missiles. That's really good for a tank. Plus one ultra attributes. Shall talk to Ali Stare. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Oop. Press the wrong thing. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Uh, what can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. Well, the other main purpose deep for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Um, can so couldn't others learn those talents? Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents. Lyrium. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Hmm. Um, so you were addicted to this lyrium? Thankfully, no. You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Mm. The Royal Bastard. Both a Grey Warden and a... Uh... A... What do you need? Templar. I'd like to ask you something. Oops. What do you need? I'd like to ask away. you something. Uh, tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Um, I believe I already asked all these. I think I asked all these. I want to double check later on. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair 
Fair enough. What do you need? Uh, ask you something. Ask away. How did you become a Great Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Um, I mean, before that. Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. Uh, you don't seem like the religious sort. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Think Ducky to... <laughs> Dunky? <laughs> Duncan? Uh, things better than being a Templar? Why would the Glen Cleric want to keep you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens, is all. The Chantry didn't lose much. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow, rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. Shouldn't have brought him up. Or, he was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much, I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Whew, harsh. Um, party approval. Once you part, we're going to genuinely respect you. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Um, why would why have you remained a Templar if you hate the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. <laughs> I'm a sucker for good tailoring. Um. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen you wearing it. I keep it hidden under my pillow. Sometimes I'll take it out just so I can hug it fondly and remember the good old days. Brings a tear to the eyes, you know. <laughs> so you stay a Templar out of sentiment? Oh, sure. They said that all the self-flagellation would be unpleasant, but you know what they say. One man's pain. You don't <laughs> really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. Um. Then make up something more exciting. You know, I like the way you think. But I guess if you're really curious, there's no harm in obliging. I have a couple of interesting looking moles I can show you later, too, if you're interested. The truth mm. of the matter is <laughs> that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. Um, what did you join about, uh, what did you enjoy about the training? The education, mostly, but also the discipline. You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? Um, my home was taken over by Earl Hal. Right. Stupid of me to ask. I'm sorry. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for Ow. good. Either God way. Damn it. What is that? It wasn't doing this a while well, well, last time I was playing. <sighs> they could rebuild. We could always traveling. Not time to think about it. You can always keep traveling. Maybe. Could you? I don't know what I'd find out there that would be any different. I guess it would depend on where I was going. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Um, I think I'll start giving out these gifts since I have everyone here. Um, Alistair likes dolls, but I don't remember if he likes the statuette. Morgan likes jewelry. 
but that I believe is a Leliana gift because it's a maker. I. Yeah. That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Oh, and also the steel. I had a lot of gifts for Liliana, for some reason. Oh, how dear of you! Thank you so much. And Sten likes paintings. I am impressed. My thanks. Okay, Sten. Yes. Um, what were you doing in that cage? I'm pretty sure I already asked this too. Sitting, as you observed. Um, do you have to be so literal? No, it's a choice, not a necessity. Um, fine, let's drop this for now. Parshera, was there anything else? I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. It's enough for now, I guess I did. Then I suggest we move on. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to... I already... Yeah. Very well. Actually, let's go. Hmm. Stuck to Liliana. I... Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? Um... No, I don't believe you have. It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orle. They involved flowers, Ow. ribbons, jewels. One year... Feathers were all the rage, and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else, and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. What the chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. <laughs> Poor birds. Yes, I don't envy them. She never washed her hair. But I was trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I... I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. Well, we're friends, aren't we? Yes, very much so. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. You are my treasured friend. And do you often enjoy the company of other women? You are my treasured friend, Liliana. Thank you. I am honored that you feel that way. So Leliana is one of the two bisexual characters, but you're, I believe, pretty sure her preference is women over men. Like, you need a high approval rating to romance Leliana as a male, while as a female you need not that high, or not that, yeah, like, here. For, like, a male, I believe it needs to be, like, around here to romance her, but as a female it just needs to be, like, a little bit above halfway to max. Um, but I'm not going to romance Leliana in this playthrough. I think I'm going to romance uh, some dumbass idiot. You're a hard woman to find. I guess I'll grab this quest. The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Um, Dryden, it's a black name. Your family lost its land and titles. But Tan Kuzlan's daughter should be well aware that in politics, things are seldom as they seem. Say what you will of my family. We are ardent warden supporters and have been since the beginning. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Um, what promise did Duncan make to you? Well, as you know, my family's name is mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Um, what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. 
We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Um, never heard of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did. And I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Um. Uh, why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Um. How will reclaiming the peak help the wardens? Soldiers' peak of strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Oh, okay. Your family's faith will be rewarded. I'll a help you. A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Yeah, uh, I thought it was an Im like an immediate quest where if you get it, you have to go do it. But no, you just talk to him. You get the quest, you find out about it, and then you can go do it. But anyways, I'm going to end the episode right here. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you're around for next episode of Corners of Thinking. And I shall see you then. Bye-bye.